How are we doing today, guys? Thank you once again for joining me on Viper 9 Toy Videos. Today, I have the brand new Disney exclusive Star Wars Droid Factory 4-pack from Obi-Wan Kenobi, the series. This pack contains the R3T2 Astromech, the Ned B Loader Droid, the Viper Probe Droid, and then the Bounty Hunter 1-Jack. Uh, if you don't recognize the R3-T2. He is mainly just kind of like a back down, background droid, to my knowledge. Obviously, you know, these other guys had a lot more larger roles. Him helping Obi-Wan escape. Spoiler, from Darth Vader during their first encounter. The Viper droid on Mustafar. Was it Mustafar where they had the training center? Or I, was it a different planet? I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm sure... Someone can help me out in the comments on that one. And then the one Jack from the planet that the kidnappers were holding Leia on, which name also escapes me at the moment. On the back of the box, it does have some brief little clips uh, from the different scenes where the Viper probe droid is. I guess this one was on the planet that the mining planet that they had stopped on, not necessarily the one that was in Mustafar. But either way, still a pretty nasty droid. Uh, has a brief little description back here on the back about the droids, which is kind of generic between the different sets. They only change like a little bit of wording on that, but for the most part, it's all the same. And then has your, your quad languages and everything like that. The original retail of $49.99 on that. I am not going to lie. I did buy this one on eBay for retail plus shipping, which I was pretty excited for to find this little guy retail plus shipping. And, oh, what was it, like a day or two after I had bought it is when Shop Disney, don't know if it was an accident or on purpose, but they released it for $20 under retail. And I was upset at myself because, you know, patience is a virtue that I do not wield. And I could have I could have saved some money on that. But at the same time, either way, I have the figures. I didn't spend over retail. So I still consider that a win to a degree. Let's go ahead and pop out this first droid. What was that? The R3T2. And he's going to have just the same articulation as all the rest of your uh, Disney Astromech. So he has the head swivel. He's going to have the Build-A-Droid parts to where that head comes off. He's going to have the, the leg swivels, the ankle swivels, the, the third leg that comes out, so on and so forth. Nothing too fancy there when it comes to this little astromech, just because they're almost a dime a dozen at the moment. Let's go ahead and take a look at this Ned B real quick. Oh, he's, he's a little bit heftier. So let's take a look at this. So he does have the head swivel here as well as a removable head. So just like with a lot of your, your Disney droids, his head is removable. Uh, arms are going to be removable as well. So he has the head swivel, shoulder, just swivel, no rocker or anything like that. Elbow. We can't tell if that elbow is supposed to swivel or if it just pivots. Oh, take the risk. Ah! So it actually does have the swivel joint in the elbow as well. And then it does look like, does he have wrists? And he does have wrist swivels. So pretty decent articulation there, about the same as your uh, protocol droids. So he does also have the, the waist swivel. Does he come apart at the waist? I don't think he comes apart at the waist. He might, but once again, you know, sometimes I just don't feel comfortable forcing that. He has knee. Well, yep, I just completely did that, guys. I just broke my Ned B while doing a recording. So he does have, he does technically have ankles, but that joint just, uh, just straight up snapped on me. So probably should have been just a little bit more gentler with that. Uh, you know, this is only the second time I think I've broken a figure on camera. This one here was completely my fault. On with the show, shall we? So we're going to go ahead and set the Ned B right there. <laughs> and let's just go ahead and be a little bit more careful with some of these guys. I don't feel like I applied too much pressure on that guy. And he, he just kind of popped. But now I'm, now I'm going to definitely have to try to find a replacement. So maybe I should have bought that, that second figure set. But here is the Viper Droid. 
nice little ooh, lots of detail on him so he does have the head swivel he does have oh let's take a look couple joints there there so it does look like all the the different legs do have different joints in them do they pivot i don't think they pivot i think they're pretty solid so you're going to have some that actually kind of interfere with each other there just a little bit like as you see this one here when it comes out i guess that's not too too much interference did that just Okay, woo! Oh man, my heart just sank there a little bit more, but the legs actually come out. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, yeah, heart sank there a little bit. Thought I just snapped another leg. Oh man, I was gonna be, I was gonna be a little disappointed on that one. I was probably gonna have to call this video before I got to the, the one jack. Take a look at that. So the stand is also removable. I'm, I kind of want to see how much more this guy comes apart, but at the same time, I'm terrified to try just because of what just happened to, to the Ned B. Let's go ahead and take a look at this, this one jack here real quick. So I'm not expecting very much more detail on this one jack other than like what you get with a protocol droid. Let's take a look at that. So he does have the head swivel. He does not have just a shoulder swivel, the elbow joint. Ooh, a little tight on that elbow. So once again, I'm probably going to have to to heat that up. You can call me gun shy at this point. So he does he does have the the elbow swivel definitely there, but I'm I am going to heat that one up before I go ahead and try to bend it. Let's take a look and see. I think his blasters are solid. Not in holsters or anything. Yeah, his blasters are solid, so his blasters don't come out. So, good background character, but you can't exactly have the gunfight between him and, and Obi-Wan at that point. Does have the knees and the ankles, just like all your other protocol droids. Overall, I'm super happy with this set. Disappointed in myself, obviously. Thank you for that, Ned. But... You know, a great little set from the Obi-Wan series. Uh, I don't always appreciate how, how well, I guess at this point it's Disney. I don't think Hasbro really has any affiliation here. But I don't like how they threw in that Viper droid with so many other just one-off droids. So in order to get more Viper droids, you're going to have to get more one-off droids. But they are build a droids so you could swap parts around. That shouldn't be an issue. Oh, man. <sighs> yep, gonna have to try to find a way to fix that. Just might end up super gluing it, or I might uh, pull the trigger and, and buy another one just to get a, a second Ned and a, a Viper droid. Well, right there, guys. I am gonna go ahead and say, maybe, stand up, Ned. Come on, help me out here. On that one, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and say, Thank you for watching.